Hi Virgo friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, November 25th to December 8th, 2019. And as a reminder, Virgo, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, please watch your other signs. So what I'm going to be doing this week for you guys is I'm going to do your general reading and I'm going to do a love reading for you guys. I am taking off the whole month of December. I'm going to be traveling and getting ready for Christmas. But you, I will be, be, you know, doing your general monthlies, your love monthlies, and the week of Christmas, you guys are going to see me live. I'm using the Grand Lux, clarifying with the Gilded, and your love reading is going to be, um, I'm so sorry. Okay, the Gilded Reverie Lenormans, and of course, a Romance Angels card. Per Virgo, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, November 25th to December 8th, 2019, Virgo. Okay, Temperance, Sagittarius, which we're in, in a few days here, Nine of Swords, and your foundation, recent past, King of Cups, interesting Scorpio just got this as their central issue, only it was upright, Crowning you, the Three of Wands reversed. And the Six of Wands reversed. Okay. So, Virgo. Hmm. Where do we even want to start here? All right, let's start with this three of wands in reverse. Because this is you trying to plan. You know, plan for the future. Waiting. I think you are a little impatient. You know, but it is about, you know, Temperance coming up for you there in your central issue. There is a need for you to be patient, balanced. You know, faith. You know, this is God, your angels, spirit guides, you know, protecting you. You know, with the three of wands, this definitely could be regarding your job, career, be your personal life, but I'm not really seeing a third party situation here. I'm seeing this as a, as a big block, really, Virgo, from getting to, you know, from getting where you want to go. I honestly feel like it's a, it's a physical blockage. You know, usually the three of wands, you know, is literally waiting for your ships to come in, right? So close. You know, you're looking out to the future, but reversed, you, you don't have a plan. You're not sure about what it is that you want. And, you know, this is what you're, you're, some of you are thinking about. That's what's in your head.
that you're just not sure about what it is you want. It's possible that you could be involved with someone else and they don't know what it, what they want. It's possible. You do have the King of Cups in reverse. So some of you definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. You know, someone that absolutely does not have their emotional life under control. Could even be emotionally manipulative. This could be your energy if you're not dealing with a water sign. You have the three of wands in reverse. So if you're not sure what's coming in, you feel stuck. Whether it's work, your love life, some of you could feel a little bit out of control. Some of you may might have been involved. Family-wise, love-wise, with someone. You know, even the King of Cups reversed. This person could be an alcoholic. A lot of times the King Reverse is a partier, likes to drink. You know, and the Temperance card you know, is a card of, of hope. I see wishes and dreams. And it's literally all this crap that's around. It's that, all this crap is literally surrounding the temperance card. So it really is, you know, it is, it is feeling emotionally drained or it could be someone that you're dealing with even a friend, a family member, whoever it is, they could feel this way. Your foundation, you have the Nine of Swords. Worrying too much, up all hours in the night, worrying, stressing. I'm a Virgo too, I get it. Some of you could be worried about losing your job. I'm definitely getting that. For some of you with the Six of Wands reversed, you know, this is like a big defeat when it comes to getting where you want to go. It could be fear-based, too, with the Nine of Swords. This You could be afraid that you won't... How do I want to say this? Like, you're not getting noticed or afraid that you won't. You know, some of you are in your head way too much. You know, but the, with the temperance card, guys, things are not as bad as you think they are. I feel like some of you are going through something, but you're making it, you're, you're making it worse than what it really is, Virgo. You know, sometimes when we feel blocked, stuck, defeated... You know, maybe you were trying to get into a relationship and you got rejected or maybe, you know, you got the shaft at work or something like that. You know, you start, you start to feel like everything is, is falling apart. Or that, you know, feeling stuck energy and that kind of puts you in a place or your partner or whoever to where they're just emotionally completely out of control. But you have this beautiful temperance card guiding you, trying to help you get on the path that you're meant to be on. And it could be, listen, you guys are going to get this. Today is the 19th. So we are still in Scorpio season. You guys definitely... Something's changing in the sign of Sag for you guys. Let's clarify with the Gilded. Starting with this Temperance card. Okay, definitely. 
definitely this one. Oh my goodness, like dropping cards here. Okay, the Queen of Wands, Strength, and the Seven of Swords. Definitely a need for... I don't know, let's see. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. A Leo in particular with the Strength card. Some of you... Some of you feel like you don't have the Strength or the guts to say something. To say what you want to say or to go after what you really want. It really is like you're afraid of, of rejection. You know, the Queen of Wands you know, is a go-getter. When she wants something, she'll stop at nothing until she, she gets what she wants. Because the strength card came up reversed next to the Queen of Wands. You know, that's showing me that you don't have the courage. You might feel like you have to maybe sneak around with someone with the Seven of Swords. Or maybe some of you are in love with a fire sign. I would say a Leo or a Sag. It could be Aries too. And you feel like you have to sneak around with them. If you just tell the truth and open up, show people who you really are. And, you, and, and get out of your head. It really will be okay, Virgo. Let's look at the King of Cups. Because this is an over-emotional, over-indulgent person that absolutely does not have their act together. Definitely. All right, I'm going to just take them. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles, the Moon, Scorpio pulled that too, and the Ten of Swords. This could be someone that feels like someone had, someone has been has been betrayed, lied lied to them, cheated. Maybe financially this person was financially well off. And this King of Cups is reacting to this Ten of Swords and the Moon where things you know, are confusing. You don't know everything yet, but things are absolutely coming to light. And guys, it's 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 not positive, which is interesting. You know, the Ten of Swords is an ending to a cycle. I feel like it's an ending to pain. The worst is behind you. End of suffering. And you just don't know yet because with the Nine of Pentacles, you know, this is still abundance, success. You know, happiness, living comfortably. It could be a new job. Something you have no idea was even coming. It could also be that someone loves you and you had absolutely no idea about it. All right, let's look at, let me see this three of wands. Cards fall in Virgo. All right, no, 
I don't know, maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Two cards fell out, but this one was flipped over. Or this has been going on since Scorpio season. Three of Wands. Okay. Ace of Wands. Wow, interesting. Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Big commitment. Wow, I mean, a big commitment coming. Someone that's committed to you could have been juggling two jobs, two people. You know, there's imbalances. But you are going to find your, your security and stability, Virgo, in a very fiery energy. And this person could maybe be... Like an officer, a lawyer, they could work for the government, attorney. I feel like it really is all about having the strength and the guts, having the patience and actually coming out with it, being, being who you are to people. For whatever reason, you may not be talking about how you feel and others of you are just feeling stuck in general. Open up, be yourself, speak the truth, and guys, things really will absolutely work themselves out. You know, whether it's you or someone else. So your love. The Lenormans. Only read in the upright. Virgo in love, spirit, Virgo, sun, moon, rising, sun. So if you follow me on Facebook um, live, cards got to pop for me for just three cards. Okay, here we go. Virgo. Oh, that is a jumper. Awesome. Angels. Beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. The mountains. The site. That's a 10. There, there's definitely an ending here. And a decision. So the mountain talks about obstacles, blocks, feeling stuck, which we do see in your reading. But eventually... You know, the obstacles are going to start moving away. Definitely. You know, these two cards really do tell me that... Delayed decisions. There's obstacles here. Decisions need to be made. But they're, they are delayed. You know, the crossroads represents two decisions, two things, two solutions to any problems and options. But, and you know, always in this card, I see it as it not being the most easiest decision to make. 
because really look at this card. That's why you have absolutely no idea what to do because both of these options are absolutely beautiful. It is the ultimate card of free will. It shows, you know, that you have a choice of which way you want to go. You know, sunlight, daylight, both beautiful. That's why this is a very difficult decision or choice that whether it's you or someone else is making. It's, it's this decision is not easy and it does weigh heavily on one of you in love now it, abs it absolutely could represent a choice between two people definitely obstacles here could be could possibly be you're seeing someone that's married or that's already com in a committed relationship that would cause obstacles. We do have the Hierophant here. And with the Scythe card and, and, and the, the decision. This is, you know, cutting away the problem. Ending a relationship. It could show someone is about, is about, so, something is, is definitely about to happen. I said that, and I think it's in Sagittarius. I really do feel that for you, Virgo. Ending a relationship. And uh, for some of you, okay, some of you. This ending is going to be permanent. Like very quick. And almost emotionless. And it's absolutely, really, it's coming to an end. Whether it's a marriage, a partnership. Wow, you're choosing new love. Or they are. A new person has... Stirred your romantic feelings. Wow. Well, that ended nice. So, Virgo, whether you're making a decision or you're waiting on a decision from someone else, the new love is coming toward you, my friends. That turned out really nice. All right. Those of you that follow me on Facebook Live, I will see you guys tomorrow, Wednesday. Those of you that do not, I will see you back here with your general readings and then your love monthlies. Absolutely love you guys. Take care. Bye.